Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and in this video we're going to be looking at Dying Light, a benchmark, but please note, Dying Light has no benchmark mode. So what this means is that I'm going through a similar scene and running through the same motions throughout that scene in the same time frame. So to do this, I'm using GLX OSD for the Linux side and Fraps for the Windows side. We're going to be doing things a bit differently this time. I'm not going to be showcasing the videos. Instead, I'm going to be showing you the numbers I got. Now, I'm using the latest NVIDIA drivers. This is the latest version of the game at the current time of the video, which is 1.5. And it's been two months since they've released the game, so they've had more than enough time to fix anything if they wanted to. So let's go ahead and see what kind of numbers we get. Remember, this is not a frame-for-frame -frame comparison. It's a similar scene with similar actions. So let's see what we get. So when we run the game at 1080p with high settings, we're actually seeing what looks to be 51 frames per second uh, frames per second difference on average between the two systems with Ubuntu at 25 frames per second on average and Windows averaging out to 76 frames per second. So what happens when we change everything to low settings? We get a slight increase on the Ubuntu side jumping it up to 32 frames per second and on Windows it's jumping up to 109 which gives us a 77 frames per second difference on average which means that on low settings the Windows port actually manages to gain a bigger benefit from this rather than the Linux side. So what happens if we change the resolution? We bring it down to 1280 by 720p. So with high settings on 720p, the same settings as before, we're seeing still 23 frames per second on average on the Linux port and 94 frames per second on the Windows port, which is still at a 71 frames per second difference on average. So the Windows port once again still gains a larger benefit from lowering the settings. So when we low settings everything at 720p, we're seeing 30, 30, 33 frames per second on the Linux port and 115 frames per second on the Windows port, which is a whopping 82 frames per second difference. It's very large. So with the tests done, I just want to let you know first and foremost, the settings were kept the same regardless of if I'm running on low or high between the systems. That means AA is off, NVIDIA HBAO Plus is off, NVIDIA DOF is off, and Ambient Occlusion is off throughout the testing to keep things as same as possible. So you're going to notice that on the right, these are the Windows settings that are available, and on the left, these are the Linux settings that are available, and there is an, a very big difference here going on with what Techland is supplying to Linux users compared to what they're supplying to the Windows users. Now I can understand not having NVIDIA Gameworks because it's not supported on Linux, but no AA? Come on, this is a triple A title. There's no AA on Linux. You're disabling it for us to access? That's just not right. It's in the game. We just don't have access to it. That's not right. So the FPS range is stuck between 18 to 35 frames per second, regardless of the settings we put it at. Low, everything off. High, as most of it on. Resolution change is still the same. There's some serious bottleneck going on in the game here and developers really need to fix this. You cannot leave this like this. It's at a state that I'd say if you want to buy the game, if you haven't yet, wait. Wait until they fix fixed it. It's just not worth it right now. Now that's a very sad thing to say because I enjoyed the game. I played it from beginning to end on Ubuntu with two other friends, an Arch Linux user and a Windows 8 user. And the gameplay itself is a blast. The cheesy story, the gameplay mechanics, I would put the gameplay part of the game at an 8 over 10. Very healthy. But the technical side of the game, we've got a whole bunch of issues here and I can barely rate it at 2 over 10. Right now with the current patch, crashes are imminent, always and almost consistently and there's never a certain reason why. It could be anything happening in the scene. Low FPS, even after 2 months, nothing really has changed here. And now we still have a whole lot of missing settings. No AA is a very big one, seriously. So, what's your verdict? This is just mine, based on my experience and perspective. If you have the game, do you enjoy it? Did you enjoy it? Have you finished it to the end? Are you able to even play it? If you haven't played it yet, are you thinking of getting it for Linux? Do you want to show them the Linux love even if it doesn't work? Are you okay with that? Now, it seemed kind of negative with all the things that I'm saying, but I do respect Techland because, number one, we got this on day one, all right, with the Windows port. We got it day one release. Very nice. Number two, this is their first Chrome Engine 6 game and also their first Chrome Engine 6 Linux title. So there's some leeway. I'm still willing to give them another year to fix things. That would be okay, but don't leave it as it is. 
Alright, so this is a new video style. I'm wondering, do you enjoy it when it's shorter like this? Is it easier to consume? Or do you prefer the older type of videos where I have the videos side by side? Let me know in the description down below. I hope this video was useful or educational to you in one way or another. And thank you for watching.